right, we're here post game with head coach Lynn Bria. Uh, coach, it was a really close game at halftime. Mm -hmm. What was the difference in the second half? Well, I don't really know, quite honestly. I think um, second half, I thought we came out with a lot of energy to start. Um, we got a, we took a pretty good lead uh, the first five minutes of the game. Um, I felt like that. I just felt like we really got our, our offense was going and we were hitting shots. Um, and I thought we turned them over a little bit. Um, so I thought our energy was good to start the second half. And we saw this program two years ago up at Valparaiso. Mm -hmm. uh, how different were they here today? Well, they're much better than they were two years ago. Uh, they're, they're, uh, they've got a good core back from last year. Um, they can, they've got a good balanced attack. They can score inside and outside. I mean, they can shoot the three ball really, really well. So, um, you know, I think they're much improved from when we played them two years ago. And they kept making runs back at us yeah. in the second half. Yeah. Um, talk about maybe how the offensive rebounding and the second chance opportunities helped. Yeah, them. that helped us a lot. Well, I, we hit the glass really hard. I thought, I thought Brianna Bay, I thought she just carried us in the middle of that third quarter. Um, I thought Sarah Seiger was just awesome on both ends. I mean, she, she was great offensively for us, rebounded the ball, and, um, and just her help and the block shots. I just think she really saved us on a lot of plays where they would have had a layup. And um, she's doing, just doing a great job defensively for us as well, uh, just playing at a real high level. Um, so I feel, feel like that the rebounding, we, we just we hit the glass really hard. Eight blocks for Sarah, tied yeah. school records. Yeah, She's it's amazing. 13 in her first two games. Yeah, yeah, that's really amazing. I'm really proud of her. I, you know, I talked to her the first two years I had her and told her, I said, you could really lead, you know, you could be the all-time leading shot blocker here. And I don't think she really believed me, um, but she, I think she does now. So. Uh, she's, she's just really playing at a high level on both ends of the floor. I, I'm just really happy with her. And, and she's healthy. You know, last year, I think Sarah had mono most of the year, and she just struggled uh, with her energy. But this year, she's, she's just a lot healthier, and I think she's just playing much better. Talk about uh, the second half Brittany Chambers had. Yeah. She started to knock down some threes at some yeah. time. Well, the thing with Brittany is when she, when she guards and she plays defense, her offense is better. And that's what I tried to talk to her about at halftime. I said, we really need you to guard because then your offense gets better and your shots aren't short. And you're, you know, so uh, she just became very aggressive. She just opens up the game. It's hard for teams to sit back in a zone when you have her and Bree out there that are going to hit them. And now Sarah can step out and shoot them. So, I just think, um, you know, it's just harder for teams to pack it in on us, you know, because we can step out and shoot it a little better this year as well. And then uh, Kennedy uh, had kind of it's a amazing. quiet first half, but really made that Well, she had a quiet first half because they didn't really play her, which <laughs> was not a real good coaching move, um, obviously. But, um, you know, I, I just, you know, sometimes when, you, when they're freshmen, you just – you know, you got to feel like you can trust them. And I mean, I'm just not there with her yet. So in the first half, I just didn't know really where to put her in, um, you know, at what point in the game. Because we weren't scoring. We went on that drought in the first half. We stayed on 20 points for a long time. And, um, you know, at that point, I'm just trying to go with some people that have experience that can get us a bucket. So I didn't play her a lot. In the second half, I just thought, gosh, she did so well, you know, in the last game. I'm just going to stick her out there a few minutes and see what happens. I'm glad I did. And then she just started rebounding and scoring. And, um, you know, it just, it just takes time. I mean, with her being new and, and you know, just knowing what, that I can trust her and what she's going to do. And, um, but I think she's really – I've just never had a freshman play, you know, so well uh, or play, you know, really – she doesn't look like a freshman. Last question is from a team standpoint to mm -hmm. be able to – Pulled off run after run from Valparaiso mm -hmm. and just continued to build that lead in the second half. Yeah, that's that was probably the thing I was most proud of. And I told our players in the locker room, I said, probably the thing I'm most proud of is, you know, is that we responded to their runs. We could have tanked it. We could have folded it and laid down and died, and we didn't. And I was just really proud. Um, you know, of a group, even though we have some veterans, we're, they're all, some of them, I mean, it's still, they're still new to each other. So I was really proud how they came together and they just hung in there and uh, just kept playing. So um, it, it was really, really good. I, I thought, I thought uh, Brianti Saunders really did a great job of stepping up and being a leader today. Really good.
All right, congratulations. Thank you.